If the dead could talk. Long time. You? Well, it wasn't her, was it? What are you doing here? What, what are you playing at? What do you think? You killed my mother. Did you seriously believe I'd let you get away with it? It was an accident. Yeah. That's what you want people to think. I don't have to defend myself to you. Yeah, you do. I've waited a long time for this. Why not? Well, I would have come sooner, but... I've been in and out of prison. And that's down to you and all you've messed with my head. Now it's payback time. Payback? I owe you nothing. I did not kill your mother. Yes, you did. She was on to you, so you bumped her off. Don't be ridiculous. I am sick of people saying that. I know what you did. The pub next door does do bar meals. Thank Tell you. Diane I sent you. Thank you. Bye. I want words with you. And don't even think about leaning into her again. She dragged it out of us. Well? There's nothing to explain. Look, I never sent them cards, so I don't care whether he believes or not. Fine, we'll just have to forget it, won't we? <laughs> Someone's going around masquerading as your dead wife, and you just want to forget about it. Not on my watch, Sonny. Valerie, I do not want to discuss it. <sighs> yeah, I'll bet you don't. Oh, sorry, Pet, we're closed tonight. No, I'm not looking for a room. And you told him about me. I'm Michael Feldman. Who? I told you to leave me alone. What's going on? He was married to my mum, Elizabeth. Now would you believe this? Bigamously, as it turned out. <laughs> That's the least of his crimes. What's he going on about? Your husband killed my mum. <laughs> You've done all right for yourself, haven't you? <laughs> This place? Hmm. Wife. Kid. Beats dusting down in an hostel. OK. I admit, I didn't treat your mother as well as I should have. Didn't you? Marriage was a mistake. We didn't get on. I put my hands up, but for pity's sake, I'm not a killer. Huh. Then why do you look so guilty? I think you should leave. I'm not missing the memorial service. <laughs> you coming with me? Oh, well, fair enough. We'll stop here. Talk about old times. You're not welcome here. Get out. You don't tell me what to do. I said, get out. Eric! It's all right, I can handle this. You've made a big mistake. You do not frighten me. Yeah, I do, yeah. And with good reason. You're going to pay for what you've done. Get out! Get out! Get out! Yeah, that'll do. Of course, you know why they're here, don't you? Pay their respects. Oh, yeah, that'll be it. 
Not because Diane is putting free drinks on in the pub. Is that Michael? Yeah. Who? That was the Pollard song. Oh, well, the years haven't been kind to him. Leave us alone. <laughs> Is that a message from your daddy? He's not my dad, right? My dad can rot in hell. Now you leave Eric alone, and that's your final warning. You know nothing about him. Don't tell me what I know. Right, you mess with him, you mess with me. I'm the one who's been messed about. Tell Eric, if he wants to see the back of me, it's going to cost him. Big time. What are you on about? I want to see him tomorrow. Tell him to bring plenty of cash. Because I'm not letting him off until he's paid in full for what he's done. Are you all right? Yes. Pearl, it's good of you to do the cooking. Uh, shall I bring the wine? Oh, no, no. I'm doing the booze. I've got a lovely bottle of Chianti. I won it at the church, Tom Bowler. Oh. Happy New Year, Mr Turner. Betty. Good to see you at the memorial. It means a lot that folk around you still remember. It were a very moving service, love. Well, what happened to your mother was terribly tragic. Yeah. It's good to pay my respects. Been putting off coming all these years. Well, cost mostly, you know, travel, hotel. And um, I don't suppose you could see me all right for a few quid, could you? Um, well, yes, of course. Sure. Yes, I'll, I'll, um, I'll pay you back. I'll send it on. Oh, cheers. A bit chilly out here. Well, why don't you come back with me? I'll, uh, I'll make you a warm drink and something to eat. No, I'm fine. It's half of the offer, though. How oh, you? Change your mind. Still here. Still broke. What do you want? You want me to lie and say I killed her? Is that what you want? I've told you. It's only fair I get some proper compensation. Well, it's obvious we need to sort something out. But uh, somewhere a little less public, though, eh? Come on. What do you really want? Did your Amy not pass on a message? Whatever it's worth to you to shut me up. I'm not going to bankroll your paranoid delusions forever. Do you really think I did it? I haven't forgotten you trying to frame me for all your dodgy deals either. The one she grasped you up for. The real reason you decided to shut her up for good. I can't prove you did it, but I can sure as hell ruin you. Well, I'm ready to negotiate now if you are. Very cosy. What do you want, Michael? Well, we'll start with the drink first. Take it from there. Don't have to go on my account. 
I'm sure you didn't come back to see me. I didn't expect you back at all. Well, all the more reason not to let you off the hook so easily. There's no more money if that's what you want. Well, it turns out money isn't just what this is about after all. What is it about then? Revenge? Look at him. What kind of arrogance makes him think a measly few grand can buy me off? Why shouldn't I have the satisfaction of watching him suffer for what he did? Oh, he's suffering all right, believe me. But he didn't kill your ma'am, and you know he didn't. You've seen the coroner's report like the rest of us. No case to answer. I lost everything because of him. Elizabeth died in the plane crash along with all those other poor souls. He ruined my life. No, Michael, you did that all by yourself. It's just now you're looking for somebody to blame. I know it's no consolation, but you're not alone. I blame myself. I saw the way you treated her. You used her. Maybe I did. I despise myself for it. But I did not kill her. I wish it had been you that died. <laughs> if I were you, perhaps I'd feel the same way. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Just realise the truth. Maybe then you can stop blaming yourself and get on with your life. I don't need your pity. I don't pity you. But I can see what Elizabeth's death has done to you. How can I not feel guilty at that? You came here for what? To see me hurt? I'm hurting. Our marriage is all but torn apart. You have to let it go, Michael. And then what? I don't know. Start again. Put this behind you. For your own sake. Don't forget this. Please. Where are you going? Home. This is your home. We can start again, can't we? No, Eric, we can't. But you know the truth. I didn't kill Elizabeth. But you wanted to. How can I be sure? The next time we'll have a blazing row or I cross the line. I can't live the rest of my life wondering if you're planning to do no, that. No, I could not. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, Eric, I can't take the risk. Please, man. Do you know the truth? I don't know who you are anymore. Where are we? 